It's Umsum time! What if everyone climbed trees? No big deal! Umsum climbs trees every day! Oh, Umsum. If everyone climbed trees, we will not have to pay for fruits anymore. Hmm. Our legs and hands will suddenly become very strong. <laughs> Villains may start huh? running away from us. Hmm. A lot of people may climb huh? on the same tree. It may fall down. Hmm. Monkeys will be terrified with this situation. Hmm. People who are afraid of heights may never look down. Hmm. Squirrels may start competing with us. Mm. Our pet dogs may not be able to easily climb trees. Mm. Our encounters with snakes will increase a lot. Hmm. Thieves will be very happy about this huh? situation. Hmm. Even aliens may huh? try their hand at climbing tree. Hmm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. What if magnets disappeared? No problem. I have a magnetic personality. Oh, Umsum. <laughs> Firstly, if magnets disappeared, people who love to put magnetic stickers on fridge would be huh? extremely disappointed. Hmm. Secondly, magnetic latches are used to firmly close cupboards. If magnets disappeared, huh? cupboards may not close that well anymore. Hmm. Thirdly, MRI machines use extremely strong magnets. If magnets disappeared, huh? doctors as well as patients would be extremely disappointed. Hmm. Fourthly, magnetic toys are popular <laughs> among kids. If magnets huh? disappeared, parents may face a tough time keeping their kids entertained. Hmm. Lastly, magnets are required in many scientific experiments. If magnets disappeared, huh? scientists would be one sad lot. Hmm. What is huh? a supermoon? He is a friend of Superman. We three are best friends. Oh, I'm some. Hmm. Supermoon is a full or new moon that nearly coincides with perigee. Perigee is the moon's closest point to Earth in its monthly orbit. Hmm. This results in a moon which appears larger than its usual size when observed oh. from Earth. Hmm. The technical name for the same is perigee syzygy, as in roughly straight-lined configuration of Earth, Moon, and the Sun. Hmm. Some important information about supermoon. The term supermoon is attributed to astrologer Richard Knoll. Out of the possible 12 or 13 full or new moons each year, usually three or four may huh? be classified as supermoons. Hmm. Supermoons do not cause natural disasters like earthquakes or volcanic eruptions. Supermoons can cause larger than usual perigee in spring tides. These tides are a few inches oh. bigger than normal tides. Hmm. Why do turtles huh? eat plastic? I am crazy about burgers. They are crazy about plastic. Oh, I'm some. <laughs> Earlier, it was believed that turtles mistakenly identified plastic bags for jellyfish. But this hypothesis was discarded when turtles were found huh? to ingest plastic debris which had no resemblance to jellyfish. Mm. Also, turtles were found entangled in large mats of plastic debris which had no visual resemblance to jellyfish. As per a study, it was found that smell played a major part in loggerhead sea turtles eating plastic. How? In the study, it was found that these turtles were responding to airborne odorants from biofouled plastic. Now, this response was very similar to the way turtles responded to odorants from food. Researchers believe that dimethyl sulfide, a volatile odorant, might be responsible for such behavior from turtles. Mm. Why do birds crash into windows? Because they don't ring bells and walk through doors. Oh, um, so. It is estimated that close to a billion birds crash into windows and die in the U.S. each year. 
Firstly, researchers believe that just like humans, even birds are not able to see transparent glass. Humans can anticipate the presence of transparent glass based on some visual clues like frames or knobs. Oh. But birds lack the ability to do so. Secondly, it is believed that collisions occur more frequently during breeding season, as birds, after seeing their own reflection in the window, misjudge it for a different bird and attack it. Lastly, it is also believed that birds perceive the reflected images in the glass to be real objects. Hence, collisions occur more often when glasses reflect images of food or shelter. Mm. Why do our eyes get dry? Not my eyes. They have a bath every day. Oh, um some. Dry eye is a condition in which our eyes lack the tears necessary to nourish or lubricate them. Most common causes of dry eyes are, firstly, decrease in the amount of tears produced by one's eyes. This may be caused due to aging, certain medications, inflammation of our tear glands, etc. Secondly, increase in the evaporation of tears from one's eyes. This may be caused due to dry air or wind. Mm. Also, performing certain activities which require higher concentration oh. like sitting in front of the computer or reading books may reduce the frequency of our eye blinking and thus lead to increased evaporation oh. of our tears. Mm. Lastly, our tears are mostly composed of water, oil, mucus, antibodies, and special proteins. Imbalance in the composition of these may lead to dry eyes. Mm. What if humans suddenly disappeared? I am not human. I will always be there. Oh, I'm um, some. <laughs> Firstly, all the animals on the planet will be one happy lot. They will surely have one great after party. Secondly, global warming oh. will be a thing of the past. Global temperatures will slowly but surely return to pre-industrial revolution levels. Mm. Thirdly, domesticated animals all around the world will be sad as days of free food will definitely be over. <laughs> Fourthly, nature will reclaim its rightful place. Trees and bushes will start shooting out of buildings, factories, and bridges. Mm. Fifthly, although plastic might stick around for a long amount of time, stock markets will drop to zero. GDP will not matter anymore. Money will just be another piece of paper. Lastly, rats and cockroaches will miss the trash which we humans used to generate every day. Mm. Oh. Are processed huh? foods safe to eat? Yeah, cause they are so yummy. No. Processed food means the food item has been altered in some way or the other. It may involve washing, peeling, cutting the food item, or pasteurizing, freezing, adding oil, salt, or sugar to increase the product's shelf life. Mm. Processed foods include tinned vegetables, yogurt, cheese, etc. Ultra-processed foods are ready-to-eat or ready-to-heat products <laughs> manufactured industrially using multiple ingredients and additives. Some examples include instant <laughs> noodles, breakfast cereals, etc. Mm. Now, many of these ultra-processed foods are believed to have negative health effects. Why? Firstly, ultra-processed <laughs> foods are unhealthy for our digestive oh. system as they are low in fiber. Hmm. <laughs> fiber promotes bowel movements and it is an important food source for beneficial bacteria in our large intestine. Hmm. Secondly, many of these foods are high in trans fat, which increases the level of bad cholesterol. Oh. Thirdly, high amounts of salt, sugar, and chemical additives in these foods may increase the risk of diabetes, obesity, etc. Hmm. What if all the seawater becomes fresh water? Now, what if all the seawater becomes chocolate milkshake? Oh, <laughs> listen. First of all, the biggest advantage will be that it will solve the water crisis all over the world. Hmm. However, there will be quite a number of disadvantages. Firstly, most of the fishes will die. Why? In fresh water, due to a process called osmosis, the cells of the fishes oh. will swell up, thus eventually killing them. Secondly, experts believe that tiny organisms called zooplankton and phytoplankton, which are critical to the marine life food chain, will die off, leading to mass extinction of marine life. In addition to this, Phytoplankton produce half of the world's oxygen via photosynthesis. 
Without them, there would be far less oxygen available for us to breathe. Hmm. Lastly, experts believe that salt in the seawater has a major impact on ocean currents, which in turn influence our climate. However, as more research is required, experts don't exactly know what will happen if all the seawater becomes freshwater. Hmm.